down to the uh, drum section. Of course, you know, that's my, that's my feel. So, um, we are here. We've been anticipating this day for 360 days. <laughs> and now, now it's finally here. So, um, I'm trying to work my way down to interview some drummers and interview some uh, uh, different musicians, different artists, and so I'm looking forward to it. It looks like we're coming up on the drum section. I see some cymbals. Oh yes. Here we are. Right, let's see what we're going to start with here. I think I may have to work my way around with the guitar. day of MIDI. So uh, I was here last year and had the privilege of uh, interviewing several drummers. So let's go down this hour and see what's happening down here. Oak. 
pinstripes, if you get closer to the moment and have a look at those pinstripes, what you have there is a hand-cut pinstripe inlaid into the oak, all hand-finished, and that, what it, that is constructed of a uh, material we use called Pekingo Scarlet. If we go around and look at the other side of the, the, other side of the drums, you, you will be able to see um, you will see the, in the rear rings if you get a chance underneath. Yeah. On the inside, the rear rings are finished in that same Buckingham scarlet material. It's like a, a bird's eye maple, but finished in red. Yeah. Now, if we go around to the, the, the front of the bass drum, you will see the, the hoop. So the inside of the hoop there, that is the Buckingham scarlet. And so the rear rings on the inside of the heads, uh, of the drum, sorry, are using that same material. So you can see the finish. It's a very unique. It's it's almost like a hand hammered finish, but it's yeah. wood. Yeah. Um, it's very distinct. I've never seen anything else like it. And it's it's very Iron Maiden. It's very it is, it is. It is. This is Iron Maiden. This is the kit that he will be taking out on on tour. It won't be finished in this way because Iron Maiden actually the, the kit is is dressed okay. in a wrap. Yeah. fits in with the stage okay. design and the, the artwork and everything that's going on there so this will be the, the core part of the kit this is what you will see but it will all be beneath a wrap and it sounds awesome it oh, looks yeah. brilliant i mean our, our strap line is that it looks amazing we sound amazing and we feel amazing and you know every time someone sees this everyone's saying the same thing yeah. it looks great yeah. Yeah. and Nico says that whenever he sits down, he uh, feels inspired to play. I see he's got the hand uh, made, the font, right there on the pasties. On the, yeah, the, yeah. Pasties, the pasty symbols. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's like the, the hand made. Again, it's a, a, a signature yeah. range yeah. that he has yeah, with pasty. Cool. Yeah. So, we're, you know, we're, we're in alignment with that. Um, the, the other thing you can see up here is that we have our uh, brand new range of hardware, yeah. British Drum Company hardware, which we've developed okay. again in conjunction. Look at details like, like this here. This, this range is called Casino. And Casino is basically inspired by this little device here. It's a, a memory lock system. So, how the memory lock works, what happens is that the dice enables you to get multi stands. So, you can say this will be take stand one, and all your dice can be pushing out the, the one, two, three. So that all the, all, all the, the components yeah. of that stand have the same number dice, and the one behind will have a different one. So you know, kind of one, two, three, oh, six, six, and then we just change the colours out. Yeah. As you get, if you need more than six, so obviously this this is a big hit. So they ever want to play dice? Can they have to? <laughs> well, this is this is the thing. You know, get the road. They take a dice out. Yeah. Play, uh, get the road crew. <laughs> get a little bit. Get a little bit. So. I'm missing a dice on my uh, silver stick. Yeah. You guys have it. But, oh, you know, that's unique. So yeah. that's, you know, yeah. it's basically around that. And yeah. that's, that's okay, the yeah. component. Yeah. So yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's exactly that what that is. In. Yeah. It's a dice. It is a dice and it's a, another example of the way we think of British drum Company. It's about innovation. It's about practicality. It's excellent design. Attention to detail. No compromise. We just, you know, yeah, it's yeah. got to be good, so we like make it good. Now, yeah. now, do you have any different colours? Uh, this is a signature kit. Okay. So this is is not available in any other colours. Okay. Um, th this is what it's going to be available yeah. in. There are lots of other uh, colours in in the the British Drum Company range, which I can take you through. I mean, this is one kit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But let's if go. you come back with yeah, me, let's go. Uh, let's have a look. We'll take a little yeah. tour. Yeah. Need some more corn? Are you okay? I'm okay. I can I'm pull okay. out a little bit. No, we can be close, but look what it's now, so it's okay. <laughs> I know. I lived in I lived in Finland for a while, so I know. Oh yeah. I know the European vibe. No, no, I'm I'm cool. Yeah. So this kit that you see here is part from our lounge series. We have two series: the Legend series and the Lounge series. Now this is lounge. Now this is uh, Scandinavian birch with a mahogany. Uh, inner veneer on the inside. That mahogany just gives it an extra dimension of warmth and a little bit more complexity in the sound. It's a little bit of a vintage vibe. It's certainly got a vintage club style aesthetic, 
It's it's a powerful sounding kit, very warm. It's got the the I love jazz wires. Wanted yeah. to pick this one just because of its its visual appeal. It's got this and will rock out as, as good and hard as any other kit. So that's the lounge series. You can tell the lounge because the the hardware on the sort of the tension rods on it, the elongated palladium hardware. Now this one over here, this is the Legend series. The Legend is 100% Scandinavian birch. Okay. Um, much more brighter, a more modern contemporary rock pop sound. Okay. Very, very powerful, very cutting through. Uh, you can identify this one by the single uh, Palladium lugs that you see on this okay. one. Yeah. Okay. So that's the easy way to identify the different, different styles. They are exceptionally well built and well designed kits. They're at the higher end of the market um, for a reason. The, the attention to detail is not. I like the instrument. This one. This, yes. This. This is an example of what we call the uh, Legend Special Edition. So over the last two years we've brought our the Special Edition range of Legends. So it's basically the basic same kit, but with a, a one-off finish. Yeah. Um, and this year it's the, it's the Executive Pinstripe. Okay. So that one's come out. Um, last year we had one called the Spalted Beach, which you were going to see photographs on. Okay. I can show you some later. Oh, yeah. But that, so that's basically our two kits, Lounge and Legend. And then this is a small, this is a great little kit. This is the oh, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. this, my, my school is love this one. yeah. Well, this is a great kit. I mean, it, it, don't be fooled by the size of this thing. Oh, this no. is very, very powerful. A lot of guys play this because, uh, because I mean, it's, you I'm know, a big guy. Can, now I play this. Yeah. Well, they, you can, it's actually quite a cute thing yeah. for a big guy to sit behind <laughs> I don't it. Yeah, I play it. You because know. you think, oh, what's this going to sound like? Yeah, yeah. And it's very powerful. Um, again, it's it's 100 Scandinavian birch throughout, and it's you know tiny shells. We've got a 16-inch bass drum. We've got a 12-inch floor top, and we have a 10-inch snare. Uh, sorry, 12-inch snare and a, a, a 10-inch rack top. You know, it's you've got to play this thing to to, yeah. to, to experience it. Okay. You can't imagine what type of symbol that you would use for it. It's just a small. Well, kit. again, you know, I, we've got over in the UK. We've got one guy uh, who called Adisa Allen who uses this sort of thing, and he does very. Um, he's, he's cool. He's urban. He's funky. Um, and he uses a lot of sort of effects type symbols and stuff like that. There's a, you know, it's a really interesting sound that he gets from that. I like the legend. The legend yeah. Is long. Yeah. Very well, they use it. The, the, the Palladium looks from the Lounge series that we've just been looking at. And so, I yeah. noticed, like last year, you guys have the uh, kick, kick fix. Kick fix, yeah. yeah. Just a, a standard. You know, I tried to look for those in the guitar set. And I'm not going to be too upset. Yeah. Uh, last year, Mel was saying that. They, the guitars in the carry though. They should be in, but I think they're very popular, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think we need to yeah. get get more in there, don't we really? Yeah, yeah. yeah I could because I couldn't find it. Um, okay. Close to shot, yeah, kickstart. So this this kicks your kick sliding. Absolutely, yeah. Place. So it's a nice solid piece of uh, a, a composite wood that we use for the key of uh, percussion. And it's got a, a generous amount of bell of velcro book yeah so that was hit to any any typical drum mat standard drum mat and it's okay and it's surprisingly effective i mean it doesn't look too much when you think how is it done you know you're really kicking yeah, out yeah yeah it it's it's that's going right nowhere it's absolutely yeah. rock solid yeah i couldn't i couldn't find any guitar center so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to look again to find out uh you guys ship them there or how does that work? Um, all our, just, all our uh, North America stuff goes through EMD distribution, it's the guys up there in the big bubble. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, those guys will supply certainly Guitar Centre. Um, we need to look into you know, the, the other outlets that they're going to do, but they are constantly trying to build 
our brand presence in, in North America well, well, and Europe as well. These are all your snares. Yeah. These are our snares. So yeah. the, the six in front of you are the standard snares from our range. So the top one is the Archer, yeah. which is 100% English U, which is it's not a, a, a material that you see very often for uh, snare drums. Yeah. But we like this, um, and it's called the Archer because back in the days of Robin Hood, they uh, the English archers, the bowmen, used to make their bows out of. English U because it's in, it's quite elastic and bendy and flexible, but incredibly strong. Um, so what you've got going on with this it's particular thing, yeah, it's all wood, and it's we've also got a vintage feel with this. So we've got single ply, uh, sorry, single flange hoops. We've got mini vintage style claws, and we've got gold plated. Tension rods on there, and a beautiful. If you get the light on there, you can see the beautiful green yeah. view inside. Okay, so that's the Archer. This is the Aviator. This is aluminium. It's very crisp. It's very dry. It's very, very uh, controlled sound. It's interesting. This is the big softy. This is a really interesting drum. So I'm just going to pop that down there. The big softy is, it's a hardwood, but it's actually quite an open pore hardwood. So it's, it's almost like a balsa wood in its appearance, but it's not soft, it's hard. So the thing is, what you, that means you can get that big, deep, fat sound, yeah. 70s fat yeah. back sound if you want it. But you yeah. don't have to have a floppy head, you can get the tension really high. What size is that? That's for 14 by 6. Okay. okay. Yeah. And the next thing is the Bluebird, which is our is our chrome over brass. Yeah. I love. I love. Is that chrome? That's chrome yeah. over brass. See, I yeah. Have, I have a chrome. That's yeah. That's a solid solid brass shell yeah. um, with a chrome, and it's got a double a double beat to add a little complexity to the sound. Control will focus the sound a little bit. Okay. Um, the next one down is the Maverick, which is 100% maple, that's this one, beautiful, simple, effective maple drum, fantastic sound, yeah, and at the bottom is the Merlin, Merlin, the Merlin is 20 plies, um, we've got birch in there, and we've got maple interleaved, and you have the okay. same design as, as the one uh, right here in the big one, it's, well, yeah, this is this is was the first example of that. Okay. So, yeah. a tiny pinstripe of maple okay. um, against the black tulip wood veneer, all hand cut, precision engineered, and put together and built into the uh, into the shell. It's not wrapped afterwards. It's that's the first prime ply that goes into the into the mold, and everything's built inwards from that. So that is the the sort of finish that was uh, the inspiration. For the Icarus, okay. Now this is Nico's. One of Nico has two signature snare drums. This is one of them. This is the Talisman. This is a hundred percent spun seamless British steel. So that's a two millimeter shell, um, and it's it's hand spun by craftsmen. And um, we've got you know we've got the detail in the back, the design here. You know, the, 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 the symbolism in that, it's, ta it's called the talisman. And so we've got a good look talisman in there, so we've got this, it's basically uh, the, uh, I'm trying to think what it's called now, but it's, it's uh, Safety Seal of Solomon, and it's, it's really, really inspired by sort of sacred geometry and things like that. And it's it's meant to have, have a, a beautiful visual appeal, yeah. but it imparts some good look as well. Yeah, it's yeah. really, yeah. really finished. Okay. This is, this, is, this is like one of those uh, snare drums you see in the, in the, in the army. In, in this the is army. exactly exactly <laughs> what it is. This is the, the Regimental army. Series RS1. Okay. Now, this is an interesting drum. This, uh, in the Royal Marines, the, the, the elite force of the British Army and Navy are using these drums for a while they weren't using yeah. British drums at all they were using foreign drums um, but they came back to us last year uh, in fact they, they, they came to us they've never been with us before 
and we handcrafted this drum from them. So if I just take this yeah. this away for a moment and I'll hold this up okay. and I'll, I'll just show you All right. what is going on with this. There's a lot of innovation in this drum. Okay. So it looks very traditional. Yeah. You flip it over oh, and wow. you see. <laughs> Wow. There's a heck of a lot of innovation in wow. that. So what you have... I bet you that sounds fat. <laughs> yeah. Now this, it actually wow. sounds really high pitched. Really? Because wow. most of the tone yeah. is removed from one of these things. Wow. It's all about the, the, the response. But it's beautiful. I mean it is. What you've got going on inside there, it's, it's twin parallel motions. So the bottom one, so it keeps the tension in the in the snares and you just snap them on and off. And in the inside, you can see that all that heart mechanism has been designed by our engineers. Beautiful, but let me just, awesome. just try to show now, you that. I can't imagine the detail. Can I just show being you a drum tech there? having to change the drum heads on this thing? I mean well, it's part they, of it. they would have to like pretty much take the whole thing apart. Well the these guys part? These guys in the military, they have to do this. So in an American military or a standard military, you know, the guys have to take the gun apart yeah. and they, they keep it keep it clean and then they need to assemble it and keep it in top shape. They have to do that with their drums. So can you see in there that, that little U-shaped badge? Yeah. So this is the, the guys are based in this is the victory model. So the, you know that little piece of oak there, can you see the circle on it? Uh -huh. That piece of oak has come from HMS Victory, which is Admiral Nelson's flagship, oh, wow. the Battle of Trafalgar. Yeah, it's hundreds of years old. We had to get special permission from the Majesty of the Queen really? to incorporate that. Yeah. Wow. So, and it's the emotional connection between yeah. the drummers yeah. and the regiment and their drum. It just ties it all together. There's a lot of. It's not just yet. Yeah, there's a lot of history in that. So we wanted to celebrate that and put it into the drum. So while it's a brand new drum, it's super technical and it's modern and contemporary and full of innovation on the surface I wouldn't think that's a martin <laughs> it looks like a drum from yeah yeah 200 yeah, years ago yeah it does it it, it, it totally looks like a you know the first world war one it, yeah <laughs> the revolutionary it, it is, war but it's so. you know it, that that type of drum has not changed you now, know, in hundreds of years until we came along and did all that on the yeah. inside now I noticed some, some of the lug nuts have the the ball here. Um, yeah. Well, right uh, again, again that is a some uh, some have it on there and some don't. Because what happens is again, if you hold this for me, please. All right. These guys, when they're drumming, that this hook will go on a special belt. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's some weights. When yeah. you take it off, they put it. Put okay. it down. Yeah. So when, if you don't have those on, this becomes really scratched. Okay. And it's a practical problem. Yeah. So what we've designed, well, but the, the, somebody designed a few years ago, the, these circular feet that sit on top. However, the problem with those is that in order to, to retune the head, you had to take these off and then you lost them and yeah. it got difficult. Yeah. We've redesigned them so that they are part of the tension rod. Okay. So they, they, you know, you can lift it, you put it on the floor, it protects the drum, yeah, we'll take, yeah. and you can come up and then you can just yeah. tune it anyway with that, then you don't, you're not going to lose the bit. A little innovation, but it's the sort of, it's the sort of appeal that, um, guys were looking for you yeah. know they were saying you know this is a problem for us can we find a way of, of, of making that work so we don't have that problem yeah and that's what we've done yeah. yeah wow that's awesome awesome drum man it is you guys make some good drums yeah uh, I, we're really here, we're really proud when i was here last year uh you guys had like a, a wood a wooden one kind of like that one it was a bigger kit, yeah. It had the same finish. It had the same oh, type of finish. Oh, yeah. Well, you're talking about the Spalted Beach kit, yeah. That would, yeah. yeah. That's the, the one. That finish, was the big yeah. kit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is Spalted Beach. That is absolutely. Yeah, here's yeah. another snare That's, drum. This is Spalted Beach. Okay, yeah. The kit was this. Yeah. That was now, the one. Now, so that is a military marching drum. Okay. This is a pipe band drum, so. Oh, okay, almost yeah. like drum corps. Yeah. But, exactly. But, yeah. You know, for the Scottish yeah. pipe bands with the bagpipes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you this. Again, this is a free-floating shell. None of these components are attached to the shell. Okay. Okay. So again, you have on there 
This is called Axial, by the way. The Axial drum is it's, it's a revolution. So again, you have yeah. you've got the parallel oh, wow. action on the inside, parallel on the top, yeah. but we've got the end circle running on the inside. So what that does, that focuses the sound, it strengthens the shell because these are under incredibly high tension. Yeah. So it just helps to give a thing at the bottom which really helps to strengthen the shell, add some reinforcement and it focuses the tone as well. Now again, it's, it's a great piece of kit, oh, some weight there, sporty beach finish, yeah. lots of innovation. Um, we have powder coated, this is called the X frame because it's like an X, the X frame and there's one, two, three, four, okay. and that connects to that, to the bottom. So that shell in the middle okay. is not attached to any hardware at all, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, which keeps, see, yeah. keeps the vibrations running that, yeah. straight through. And it doesn't scratch the, the outside surface. It doesn't scratch the outside yeah. surface but it's all about keeping the, yeah. the, the tonal, the, uh, the vibrations are really pure running straight through the shell. Well, now, now, do a lot of concert drummers play these type of drum kit, uh, snare drums, or is this just marching? This is marching drums, marching. yeah. yeah. So, so you, nobody can. The, the pipe band drummers, I'm going to say, we've got all our artists here today. Oh, okay. They're, 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 um, and they're, 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 a lot of this stuff is, is marching band championships. Yeah. In the way that drum corps is in okay. the States, over in the Scottish thing with all the kilts and all yeah. that sort of thing, very uh -huh. traditional. And uh, basically we've got the, the world champions in the respective fields yeah. play this drum and they're, they're uh, artists uh, of ours. Uh, they're not actually with us right now, but they were here about 10 minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's okay. But yeah, so yeah, this is pipe band drums. The other one is the military one. Okay. Wow. And the rest is sort of rock and yeah. jazz and folk. Okay. Now, if, if if one wanted to order a kit from the states, yes. How, did, how would that work? Okay. Well, if you're if you wanted to order a kit, but basically you would need to go to your supply, something like Guitar Center. Um, we've got, like I said, EMD are the distribution people. Okay. Um, they're on the other side of this. Okay. And they look after and what they happen to do is they will have um, representation in various stores in various locations so yeah I know I know we're absolutely talking about um, um, some guitar center I know that Yeah. Awesome, man. You got some great stuff. Are you happy with that? Yeah. yeah.